Hi, welcome to the heart of the home. We're here at Meadow Hall in Meadow Event Park in Doswell, Virginia, where every week we get a chance to play with some great Virginia food. Today, we're going to the western part of the state. We're going to, to use some tilapia that's farm-raised out there and some beautiful, beautiful Virginia apples. So get ready. We're going to do a, a fish with apples. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is slice up these apples. Right. Just going to cut the core away. All right. And then start slicing them down. I don't want to make them too small because I want them to be kind of firm when, when they get served with the fish. Now, don't like to cut the apples too far ahead of time because they'll oxidize on us, all right? Turn a little bit brown and mushy. So I want to make sure they're good and fresh and they're cut right before I need them. And again, if you buy them locally, you got a better chance of getting a really high quality apple. So. Yeah, pan's hot enough. I can tell by the way it's singing to me. Right. A little more olive oil. And let that simmer for just a minute. I've got several flowers here all right, that I'm going to talk to you a little bit about. All right. All right. This is cake flour. Right, it's the lowest gluten of any of the, the flours. And for frying, this is a really good flour to use because it will get crispy without having that toughness that you can get sometimes. All right. uh, this is bison, which is chickpea. This is chickpea flour, which is great for breading fish, especially if you're not going to add another um, coating to it. And we're going to be using breadcrumbs. So I'm not going to use the bison today, but I want to let you know this is a great uh, flour for fish. All right. And I'm going to use rice flour here all right, to do this fish in. I'm putting the flour in, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I'm going to add some honey, some good Virginia honey to this. We make great Virginia honey here, a little bit of salt. Even if it's going to be a sweet dish, a little bit of salt helps. And a little bit of pepper, a little snap never hurts. All right. Next, I'm getting ready to do the fish. I've got some eggs that I've broken into a, a bowl. I've got some breadcrumbs that I'm going to use to bread it with, and some seasoned flour that we just talked about. I'm going to take some of this beautiful, beautiful tilapia, dredge it in the flour, then in the egg, make sure it's coated good, and then into the seasoned breadcrumb mix. So I've got this new pan going on, and I'm going to get the, the pan hot. It's going to take about a minute. And I'll get that second one breaded. This is a good, good fish. Nice and light. It's not really strong flavored. See, I'm going to let those two pieces cook. I got the apples, and I'm going to put these apples down in the on the plate. These look gorgeous. These look marvelous. I can touch this one and see if the fish doesn't give too much. Then I know it's getting close to being done. apples.
sprinkle on a little bit of green onion. And here we have a fried fish with apples, Virginia style. So join us next week on Heart of the Home, where we get to play with great Virginia food. Recipes from the heart of the home can be found on the Virginia Farm Bureau website at VAFB.com, as well as on Chef Maxwell's website at ChefJohnMaxwell.com.